Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video full of rainbows. Today I'm showcasing the June card kit by Simon Says Stamp and the theme is all about rainbows. You will find amazing products here, this is a great value for money this month. And let's take a quick look on what you will get. This is a set of stickers, epoxy stickers with rainbows and clouds. You will get a full package of the new domed blending foams. Didn't have any of those so it's a great opportunity to try them out. A set of four ink cubes by Simon's stamp in lovely bright colors. You'll also get a die. This is a die that is going to give you a rainbow. It doesn't cut out the inside pieces, but it does emboss them, so you will get a lovely effect from that. Also, you get this huge stencil. Now, this stencil is amazing. It gives you so many different opportunities. Let me put it on here so you can see all the designs. Works on a slimline card as well, and you will get rainbows, clouds, and many shapes. Here is a really striking A2 envelope for sending out your cards. Here is a package with tons of gems in uh, rainbow colors. I will be keeping that on top of my deck so you will see me using it throughout the next uh, cards. Now you will also get your pattern paper, lovely bright colors, perfect for the season. The yellow one is adorable, it is full of suns with faces on top. And just like always, you can get everything you see in this uh, box separately if you like. But if you get it as a bundle, you will get a better price. So these were the pattern papers. You will also get a little pom-pom in yellow from Doris. And with stem set, you can create rainbows straight or in a curve, bigger and smaller. You also get lots of clouds as well as many sentiments. And finally, you get a couple of cardstock, this amazing rainbow one and a white. If you want to win this card kit, I do have a giveaway on my blog. Make sure to leave me a comment there. So for today, I'm going to create a couple of cards and hopefully inspire you. I am going to start on a white panel and uh, I will work with the edge of the stencil. So I'm using some tape to secure that stencil on top of my paper. And then I'm going to use the domed foam tape included in the kit along with the blue ink from the kit. And I'm going to apply some ink all over the top of my cardstock. I'm not going for the perfect blending here, I like to have splotches and uh, that is because it looks more like a sky, I don't want to have a completely flat color, I think it looks more interesting this way. And there are many ways to use this stencil, you can walk it along that uh, sky and create even more clouds one on top of the other, however I'm going for a more clean and simple look today, so I'm just going to add my sky at the top and leave the bottom white. Now once you have this background you can stamp a rainbow at the top and you can add your sentiment on top of the cloud where you have that white space and you are ready to go. However I'm going to show you how I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to use embossing powders for the rainbow which is going to give some extra shine. The embossing powder at the same time is opaque so on top of the blue sky is not going to be a problem, it's going to sit on top of it. If you don't have colorful embossing powders, you can do that in another way. So you can first stamp your rainbow, you can apply clear embossing powder if you like, which is going to give that shine, and then on top you can blend your blue sky. It's not going to go over the rainbow since embossing powder resists the ink. Now look how I did add the next row of rainbow, just attach it on the previous one and then remove the first one. This way you know that you have placed that stamp exactly on the same curve as the first line. It is really difficult to align long stamps because they have a mind of their own, but uh, this is a nice trick. Of course I'm going rainbow order, here I'm going to apply orange and you can go ahead and do that step again and again until you have a full rainbow, aligning all those lines inside the, the previous one. However, I'm going just for a half rainbow and I'm going to stop at four colors. I don't want to use this panel as a whole, that's why I'm using a rectangle die. This is one of those that have a lovely stitching all around. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and this way I will end up with a panel. I like to have smaller panels than the actual A2 card because this way I end up having a border and I am a big fan of borders. I always think that they make the card look more finished. 
Now I'm going to use that stencil again and this time I'm not going to do any stenciling, I'm just going to draw a line along that design. Don't forget that this is always another way to use your stencils. So all I'm going to do is uh, some fuzzy cutting. Of course, I'm going to cut outside that black line, so you won't be able to see that at the end. And I will end up with a layer of cloud that I can pop on top of my card. Since I want to have that lovely stitching around that cloud as well, so that I have a continuous design with the main panel, I'm going to use the same die to cut out that uh, little piece. And when I place it on top of the other cloud, it's going to give me a layer, which is something that I absolutely love dimension. Plus, it's going to make that rainbow as if it is coming from behind that cloud. From the stamp set I went with a sentiment that says you are my rainbow on a cloudy day and I did stamp that with black ink on this uh, cloud but of course you can go with uh, different colors to match the colors of your rainbow. To finish it off I'm going to stick it on top of my card base and this is a standard card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And if you want to add an extra shine, you can go with those tiny gems and I'm going to spread them around following the colors of the rainbow, so red gems on the red stripe and so on. Here are some close-up photos on the first rainbow card for today. And let's move on to the second one, and this time I'm going to play with pattern paper and the epoxy stickers. So from this pattern paper, this has a very light cloud design on top, although it's not uh, visible on camera. And that was two inches. And then from this rainbow cardstock, I'm going to cut out a slightly bigger panel, so that I will end up having borders on each side of the blue one. Now on this blue panel I'm going to cut out windows. I'm going for three windows here and uh, if you don't have such a tiny square die, maybe you have a circle die. Just cut out windows there and uh, this is where I'm going to put inside my little rainbows later on. All three windows are cut out towards the top so I do have enough space at the bottom to add my sentiment later on. I'm also sticking this panel on top of a scrap piece of white cardstock so that I do have some white background on those windows. And then all I'm doing is playing with the epoxy stickers. I'm having those rainbows tucked inside the window and coming out. And on the outside I also add a little cloud. These are quite dimensional and shiny and they make a card looking extra special. And if you find that they don't stick too well, you can always add a dot of glue underneath. I'm going to stick my window panel on top of the rainbow pattern paper, making sure that I end up having a border on each side. And this is already looking so adorable. I'm going to place that on a standard card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And you can have it either at the center or slightly at the edge. I don't like having things too standard, that's why I'm going to shift it a little bit. For my sentiment I went with You Make Me Happy, which I stamped with black ink and then die cut it with a banner die. This will go at the bottom of my design and I love how the fishtails of this banner exit the main panel. And you can leave it as it is or like I did, you can even play with hearts and add even more embellishments inside the windows and the clouds. So here are the two cards that I made for today showcasing the June card kit by Simon Says Stamp. Don't forget down below in the description area you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used today. And on my blog if you leave a comment you get a chance to win this card kit. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you'll all have a lovely day.